So, uh, because I didn't, uh, not much, uh, happened really on day two, uh, when we were here, I decided to combine day two and three into one, and, and also so I could get back on schedule so I can do the, uh, videos just the day after they, well, the day after they happen instead of two days. So, yeah, not that much happened on day two, kind of, um, hanging around, uh, we drove around and saw some things, but, you know. <sighs> Just woke up, 7 a.m., next day, first day of real work, I suppose, probably. Breakfast starts at 7.30, we have to report, 8.15. Excited? <clears throat> I'm excited. Just got out of our orientation. Didn't last very long, it's only like uh, 9.45 right now. So, uh, they turned us loose already, uh, the fools. And uh, I guess we're just gonna have some fun in Yellowstone today, pretty much. <sighs> you know, I guess I uh, should give some advice already for people, uh, anyone else thinking of this job. First of all, when they offer you a coat, definitely buy one. Because I was in there, I was in the store, it was cold. It was cold. And you can wear your jacket as your uniform, but not uh, like this, you know. Green Teton, not good enough for them. Also, uh, pay attention to the meal times. 7.30 to 9, breakfast, 12 to 1, lunch, 5 to 6, dinner. And if you miss dinner, you know what happens. So, yeah. But breakfast is pretty good, you know. Scrambled eggs, hash, sausage, bacon. Waking up once again in Yellowstone. First day of real work today. Told I was going to be working as a stalker from like 9 to 4. So I got like an actual shift. Not like yesterday. It was just orientation and stuff. So I am pretty excited, honestly. I don't know exactly what I'll be doing really, but looking forward to doing it here. Being here. Oh, got back from breakfast. And I'm going to be heading out just now to our 9 o'clock meeting, orientation or whatnot. And then it seems like today will be my first real shift. I actually got to look at the schedule today. Uh, I think it was scheduled 1 to 5 today. So I might uh, just get this little meeting and then be free for a while. Yeah, looks like that was just a. Uh, well, check anything for me, but since I'm not a cashier, I'm not doing some of that training right now. So I guess I'm just free until 1, pretty much. I check those other guys' schedules, see if they can, uh, I think they might be working. Oh. <clears throat> well, honestly, I think I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I'm still not that worried about going technology-free, although... Uh, it's honestly starting to get a little more, I'm starting to get a little bit more worried. Because I'm feeling like I'm totally going to run through all my books at this rate. I mean, once I have uh, some real shifts to occupy my time, it can definitely be easier. Right now, uh, I'm just waiting on Kenzie and Austin. They're still doing some training, I guess. But since they have the day off, it seems... We'll probably go, uh, maybe do something around the park real quick. Maybe we can check out the view at Grand Canyon with a little less fog. We'd love to show Austin all that stuff. I know he hasn't been here before, so <clears throat> we knew to him. But, um, yeah. I think, um, 
I think I'll be okay without technology. Probably. <clears throat> I don't know if I mentioned this before, but they finally uh, they posted up our work schedules earlier. And I gotta look at them. Looks like today, uh, tomorrow, I'll be working 1 to 5 as a stalker. And 8.30 to 5 uh, after that. Um, and we ended up with all different days off, kind of, but we'll probably just uh, sort that out pretty quickly. Uh, I think we should be able to get all of our same days off, and then I'm thinking we have to check out Grand Teton, because we also get free entry there. Austin hasn't seen any of that park. Uh, he hasn't been there either, and I would love to show him, and it's an amazing park. I'm sure it's really good. It's really great this time of year. But, uh, yeah, right now I'm just unwinding a little bit for my little half shift. The others are still in a bit of training, seems like. I knocked on the door a little while ago. They hadn't come back yet. But it seems like, for now, we've all got slightly separate schedules and uh, duties and stuff. Austin is food service associate, uh, Kenzie's cashier, and I'm stalker. Although, I'm sure that will probably shift around and everything. Uh, and they said everybody ends up doing every job more or less. It's really not you know, such a big deal. So, yeah. You know what? Since I have nothing better to do right now, I'm going to tell you about my water bottle. Because I really like this water bottle. Before, I had one of those Nalgene ones. The, like, one liter hard plastic uh, ones. The screw top. But I got this, or not this specifically, I got uh, another identical one a couple years ago, which it lasted me so long that the loop, this rubber loop, just snapped. <laughs> and that's when I finally had to get a new one. The bottle was completely fine, it was just the cap. Uh, and also I had uh, dropped it, snapped the cap off a while ago. But this is a... Uh, uh, looks like the logo is already rubbed off. Pogo, oh, Pogo water bottle, 40 ounces, which is really big. Most water bottles are not big enough for me. I'm a water fanatic. But this one is amazing. It's perfect. It's huge. It's very convenient. It has this nice loop to pick it up. Cap. And it's very sturdy. I mean, you could hardly, you know, there's no way you're going to break it. I mean... Hold on. Let's see if I can demonstrate. Here I can squeeze it between my knees or something. Let's see. Ah, you can just bend it completely in half. It doesn't budge. Indestructible. It's a great loop. I've also found you can hold it. Just kind of dangle it from your finger without even having to hold it. It's perfect. I love this water bottle. It was only like 15 bucks or something. It's not even expensive. Totally recommend it. So I figured, uh, thought I would actually give you a little tour around the whole uh, dorm area and everything. Uh, this is obviously my dorm I showed before. Around the hall. These here are the single dorms in this hallway, and the other hallway is the co-ed area. It's a little common room. All the VHS tapes you could ever watch. <laughs> An original Xbox, you know, everything you need, of course. Also this little room here basically just has a microwave in it. Outside. Here we are. This here is the back of the Canyon General Store. Our just, uh, dorms are out just behind it. Kind of hidden away, tucked over here. It's a ladder. So this is the back of the store. Our dorms are right nearby. So 
store is not open yet, but I think I can pop in and show you a quick look around before the place actually opens up for real. That'd be pretty neat. Behind the scenes look. aren't open up yet. Let's see. I thought I saw Kenzie Nelson over there. She might be working. Here it is. Before opening day. Uh, to be honest, you know, if you're spending a couple nights here and everything, I guess it's really starting to, to sink in more and more. This whole three months thing, you know. Be spending the next three months in this room, this store, this park. Oh. I am feeling a little scared, you know. Kind of uh, uncertain, I guess. That's really what it is. Just feeling uncertainty. But. I'm sure it'll all, uh, sure it'll all work out. I mean, we haven't even had our first, uh, well, I'm having my first shift later today, so, see how that's like, really. But, I guess I'm starting to feel a little nervous, starting to, I don't know. Uh, currently about to head out to lunch, and then to my shift at one, so... Let's see what they have there. I don't know what's for lunch, but yesterday it was tacos. Pretty interesting first uh, part of my shift there. Didn't really know who to report to or anything. Uh, eventually got Matt, the manager, to get, direct me to Nolan. Now I'm trying to find him. But uh, just got done moving the penny machine with my manager and the GM. <laughs> so that's interesting. <clears throat> Just got out of my first shift, first real shift. One to five, stalker. Oh, pretty good, you know. What the hell? Just do a change. Anyway, yep, pretty good stuff, you know. Labeling things, putting things on shelves, that kind of thing. I'm looking forward to it. We're heading out now for a group hike with everyone, pretty much. Going to the south rim of the canyon. I think it's going to be really fun, you know? So we're going to make a left out of here. We're going to drive five miles or so. Um, so it's the second... No, don't quote me on that. Um, <laughs> but it's the left-hand turn where there's a bridge. You can see that there's a bridge when you turn left. We'll let you leave. Yeah, we're going to the caravan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Follow the red car. Alright. Just know we're going to be making two stops. So. Okay. So, don't let that confuse you. Hey! First hike. Yep. Everyone's here. Everyone's <laughs> here. No warning. <laughs> and no warning, mate. I'm going to toss this up. <laughs>
it's picture worthy. Yeah. Feels like January. What do you think, dude? Pretty great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no idea.